Little cub. I don't think you should be driving right now. You seem excessively tired. It's I will talk to you tomorrow. Morning, Box. I hope that you're having a lovely day. Our day is, well, honestly, already halfway over. Rosalind is napping right now. But this morning I wasn't feeling very well. Um, I think my stomach was hurting, but I didn't throw up or anything like Ken did. So maybe it's just, maybe I'm just a hypochondriac or something like that. But anyway, so I'm starting some diaper laundry. Dill and diaper laundry. And um, as some of you guys might know, we've switched laundry detergents um, because I was using Tide and Tide is tested on animals. And you know, I've been using cruelty free makeup for a while and I figured it was just kind of time, it was time to put everything in our life, well, all our household items, all that stuff cruelty free. We still use medicines and eat meat and stuff like that, but we switched to the Sprouts detergent um, and I really like it it's been cleaning pretty well but it comes with just this itty bitty little scoop as opposed to the uh, Tide one so I'm trying to figure out kind of the art of how many scoops I'm supposed to use for diaper laundry I was doing two but I think I need more than that so I just did more than that and we'll see how that goes and yeah, I'll keep you updated on that because I've been scared to switch from Tide just because I know it works, you know? My car is wobbling, I guess. Someone told me, um, I was driving it yesterday and someone came up to me at like a stoplight and was like, hey, your tire's wobbling. And I'm like, oh shoot. So I like pulled over and tried to see what was wrong with it and I couldn't see anything that was wrong with it. So I was like, a block from my house, drove home real quick and told Ken and he was supposed to look at it last night but as you guys know if you watch yesterday's vlog he was very sick so he did not do that. Um, so I'm kind of trapped at home like we can't go anywhere or do anything because I don't want to drive you know a dangerous car. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a hug? Hug. Want down? Hug? Oh, you're gonna hug the. Oh, that's your gonna hug Box. Oh. Yeah, she's hugging. You're gonna hug Box? Mm -hmm. You're gonna hug Box? Mm -hmm. Box gets a kiss, though. That's nice. Hello, Box. I'm feeling much better today than I was yesterday. That's great, because I do not feel <laughs> good at all. Go get it. So, we're about to go to Home Depot um, so I can get material so I can finally build the bed frame because I'm off. I don't have tomorrow work. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Your crackers? Those yeah. Crackers. Apollo's like, yeah, for me, right? Yay. Ha! Yeah, Apollo. Can I have some? Oh, that was gross. Yeah. They're Chex Mix. With well, they're knockoff Chex Mix. Tastes like cheddar. Yeah, oh, there's cheddar in there. I feel like I just ate a Cheeto and a Chex at the same time. It was very disturbing. It's yummy. I like it. Little Cup likes I'm it too. I'm glad you guys like it. You can have it. You finally found something you like that I don't like. <laughs> Hello, Box. I am going to the post office and then I'm going to check the P.O. box and then I am going to go to Home Depot. So, to get wood and stuff. So, that's the plan. Yes. Also, Little Cub, do you want to listen to more Daft Punk? Daft Punk? Oh, yeah. Joke. Um. What did the biologist wear on his date with the his date? Designer jeans. Ah. Little cub. I don't think you should be driving right now. You seem excessively tired. It's dangerous to drive when you're excessively tired. Are you okay to drive? You don't know? You don't think so? <laughs> I mean can baby take over? Can baby drive? Can Elsa drive? Mm. Your hair's in your way. Look at the clip. Mm-hmm. Clip. 
Bunk. Mm hmm. All right. Little cub, what are you doing? Whoa. Whoa, watch where you're walking. Oh my gosh. Whoa. 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 You're crazy. So, Box, we're at Home Depot and I'm looking at some wood for the rails on the bed. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going through and I'm checking to make sure that these, these boards I've selected for aren't, aren't terribly warped um, in one direction or the other. They're relatively sure. I'm going to cut the ends off anyways, so um, a little warpage at the ends is okay. But, yeah, uh, I'm looking at common boards because they're easier to, or not easier, they're, they're cheaper to work with. Um, select boards would be much better because they're like furniture grade, but they're much more expensive. Um, it goes select and common, so, um, yep, that's what we're doing here at Home Depot. And Little Cub is watching Frozen on my phone there. <laughs> Alright, Box, we got our loot. Boards cut to full bed size, and I forgot that I need earplugs. So I'm gonna get earplugs. Okay, Little Cub, when we cross the street, we go out. Okay, you go out, and you go back in. And you go out. And you go back in. Yep. All right. And it's clear. All right. Go. Kenneth. Dessert. What? Are you just eating honey for dessert? No. I had a piece of bread earlier. Then I ate it. And now you're just eating oh, honey. Oh, you can't have. Can dogs have honey? I doubt it. You can have honey now. You weren't able to when you were younger, but now you can. This is like your first major landmark, little cub. The ability to eat honey. It's the first like age, they, it's like the first age restriction thing that like the government's like you can't do X. You can't drive till you're 16. You can't have honey until you're two years old. I think the food the first old. restriction was you can't eat food. Th that's a biologically imposed restriction though. It's different. Like the law do does not honey. regulate whether or not she can have honey. No. But you know getting to recommendations. <laughs> It's going to run off with the spoon. <laughs> Apollo, why are you begging? Oh, all oh right, science jokes. I'm supposed to tell a bunch of science jokes. Oh, that's right. Um, here we go. So, here's a science joke. Um, so, sodium and hydrogen... So, uh, I'm bad. <laughs> okay, so sodium asks hydrogen if hydrogen wants to hang out. And hydrogen goes, nah. Uh... Because sodium is Na, Na, and then hydrogen's H, NaH, nah. Ah, ah. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's like, I want more of this. <laughs> you all done? You want more? Say more honey, please. Don't, no, 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 no. Do you need diaper change? Diaper. She has the most adorable little like, like dance thing where she like does her little squat thing. What's wrong? What? Yeah, that's your candle that she likes. Apollo, to play with. how's it going, bud? How's it going? Here, you're a cute doggy. You're a cute doggy too. So I just realized that tomorrow, when you're watching this, is Good Friday. So happy Good Friday to those of you who celebrate it. Um, but that means we're going up to Phoenix again. And I love visiting my family. I love going to Phoenix. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of exhausted of going. I feel like we've gone like the last three weekends in a row, I think. <sighs> but it'll be good. It'll be good to see family. Hi. Box, I don't know if you can see this, but you're starting to get kind of sad. Like this just falls down. I don't think there's any way for me to film it, but you're coming apart at the seams. It's, it's bad. And I never understood why vloggers go through so many cameras, but the truth is when you use one camera every day, it's been over six months now, it gets pretty beat up. And I'm kind of concerned that you're gonna break. I'll, I'll be <laughs> oh, no, Bob's not good enough to do that.
Where'd the socks go? The socks are gone. Someone's calling me. <laughs> we just got off the phone with a, oh goodness. We just got off the phone with an old friend. I'm really excited because. Her godparents. Yeah, we're going to get to see them next week. You guys will get to meet Rosalind's godparents, which you haven't ever Suck. met. Can you say, S S Suck. You don't need socks. You have them built into your pajamas, Rosalind. These are called footy pajamas. They make them for full grown adult men. Believe it or not. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> More what? Oh, you want me to make this disappear? Okay, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> All gone. There's no fool in you, little girl. <laughs> Anyways, it is now Rosalind's bedtime, so we've come to the end of the vlog. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Oh, if you wait, what did you just say? If you liked it, give it. What am I doing? <laughs> Subscribe? Yes. Okay. We do this every single day, so subscribe down below, and then you get a little notification saying that we posted something awesome. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, both. Bye-bye, Box. Bye, Box. You laugh at that every single day. it's so cute. And you know what, Heidi? I'm going to get real here for a second. There's going to be a time when she's just, she just doesn't say it anymore. And on that note, have a good night. And I really want to talk to you guys about the exciting thing, but I can't talk to you about it. No, I'm not pregnant. But people always think when there's something exciting, I'll tell you. I promise I'll tell you when I'm pregnant. People always think that I'm pregnant. You will know when I'm pregnant. Um, but to the best of my knowledge right now, I am not, and we are not trying.